Alright students, um, as far as the Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox is concerned, now Firefox is available online uh, from the internet, you can download it and install it on your computer. And uh, Internet Explorer, if you are using Windows operating system, then it comes prepackaged with your um, Windows. And uh, if you are using Windows 7 and above, that means Windows 7 or Windows 8, the latest version, you will find that Internet Explorer icon will appear here. If you follow the mouse pointer, you can see that I am showing over here, Internet Explorer icon will appear here at the bottom. Uh, in the taskbar or you can click on the start menu and then look for Internet Explorer alright so you can find Internet Explorer over there you can launch it either from there or but the simple way is to just click on the on the pinned item uh, on the taskbar so it is, this is what we call the pinned uh, programs and you can see Mozilla Firefox is also there and Mozilla Firefox by default when you install it it appears on the desktop as well this is what we call the desktop area so keep uh, your focus and keep following the mouse pointer and keep listening uh, to whatever I am trying to say. Alright, so let's launch the Internet Explorer first. Um, by default, it will go to, uh, sorry, in this case, it will definitely ask us for a uh, login credentials because we are on a particular network. So I have to enter my login credentials for this particular instance. Alright, so by default it will, um, and as soon as you open your Internet Explorer, it will ask you uh, whether you want to make this your default browser. Default browser basically means uh, every time you open or launch any Internet application, then it will open by default in Internet Explorer. So I'm choosing no in this case because we have set the default browser in this case to be um, Mozilla Firefox. Now you can see that by default it is giving me uh, bing.com www.bing.com now this is the home page that we have set it up to so this is what we call the address bar now how do I change this how do I change this now at the beginning on top you can see that I do not see the menu bar so the first thing that you should be able to do in a browser is to activate your menu bar in this case you can simply right click all right right click over here uh, sorry, no, do not right click here, right click over here on this space here and then choose menu bar. Can you see the favorites bar, compatibility, command bar, status bar, they are all checked. That means they are currently uh, visible. You can see it on your screen at the moment. The favorites bar is here, all right, and the compatibility bar is here, the status bar is at the bottom here. And let's check the menu bar. So now you can see the menu bar. We could have placed the menu bar right on top, but we just uh, use the default settings for now. Now on this one, if you want to change your default, your home page to be some other website, say for instance that uh, we want to make this particular home page um, a USB home page. So every time I open Internet Explorer, it opens the USB home page. So what I'll do is go to Tools and then click on Internet Options. I hope you are following. Now over here, if you look at the Internet Options uh, window, or if you, we call it dialog box. So if you look at that, it says this is the home page to create home page tabs. Type each address on its own line. So you can type two or three uh, addresses over here. It says use current, use default, use blank. So if I choose use blank, that means when I open Internet Explorer, it will open a blank uh, blank window basically. But if I use current, then it will open the Bing as my home page. But let's change this to you can just change this part www so I'll just type www.usb.ac.fj and use this one as my home page so if I close that close that now if I close this Internet Explorer and relaunch it it will open the USB home page by default automatically can you see that so this is the first step for you to be able to launch the uh, menu bar and then from the tools option click on internet all right click on internet options and then under the general tab you can type the website that you want to make your home page all right so every time you do that this is the page that will open now the next thing how do i use internet explorer effectively if i want 
by default Microsoft has uh, pinned Bing search engine together with the with the Internet Explorer but if you take the mouse pointer on the top right over here and click on this drop down arrow you will notice that there are other options or you can click on find more provider or manage search engine providers so by default you have only Bing over here if you want you can look for the others and put Google there as well but I will not uh, cover that in this tutorial session we just use Bing for now this is a quick way to search for things say for instance you are looking for some or you want to go to YouTube rather than typing www.youtube.com over here what you could have done is simply type YouTube over here and then press enter and then it will display the results every time this will happen sorry about that Alright, so it gives me uh, a search result uh, by Bing and uh, once again you'll be covering this uh, particular uh, topic in your unit uh, 2 regarding search engines so if you have done your theory properly now it gives me the results of YouTube and where I can find YouTube so just click on the first result here which is basically www.youtube.com and here I can just see um, the YouTube uh, homepage alright so that's basically how to use your use your Internet Explorer. And uh, let's close this. I'll just minimize it for now. And let's launch my, uh, Mozilla Firefox. Now I had this open. Again, you can go to the tools. And in this case, you can just right click on this top space here. And you can remove the menu bar. Or you can right click again and get the menu bar back. So again I can go to tools and then in this one you can click on options. So when I click on options, I can see that there are certain options that are available under the advanced tab. But if you click on general tab, then over here you can say show my home page, uh, show blank, show my windows and uh, tabs from last time. So it, at the moment it says home page is set to www.usp.ac.fj. Now if I want to have more uh, home pages appearing. Uh, what what do I do? So click on the new tab. Let's let's go to the home page. Um, first, let me activate www.usb.usb.ac.fj. Now, when you are typing that, you'll notice that the other options related to usb.ac.fj uh, appear at the bottom. That means all these web pages were previously visited. So what happens the browser keeps a history of all the web pages or all the websites that you visit and, and the next time if you want to visit a particular website then it will automatically uh, display the web addresses for those websites so you can just select that so I just select that press enter and then the USB homepage appears so the next one say for instance I want to activate the Moodle uh, homepage so I'll say eLearn now automatic, automatically it has picked up Elan, so I just choose that one. So these are the two home pages, uh, sorry, two web pages that I want to appear every time I launch my Mozilla Firefox. So I click on tools, click on options, and then go to general and say use current pages. So automatically it says HTTP www.usp.ac.fj and then with a, with a vertical bar there and with a separator you can say I have another web page appearing there which is elan.usp.ac.fj. So click OK. So now if I open the Mozilla Firefox, if I close and open this automatically, I say close all tabs. And if I relaunch my Mozilla Firefox, alright, if I relaunch my Mozilla Firefox, then it will open the two home pages automatically side by side. Then so the two home pages are active. Then. So my Moodle home page is there and the USB home page is there. So in this particular video I have covered the basic essence of how to launch your browser and how to change the home page settings. Alright, now in our next video we will look at uh, how to use, oh sorry, before I uh, close up
Before I close that off, sorry about that. Uh, the, the camera automatically switched on. But anyway, before I close this video off, um, the other options like you see over here for the search options, you can click on the search button. It will take you to the Google home page or click on the drop down arrow. And with the Firefox, you can see that the options available over here are Google, Yahoo, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Twitter, Wikipedia. So you can click on manage search engines. Like I said, we will cover this later. And uh, you can uh, click on anything that you want to search for. You can, by default, you can change your search engine over here. You can change it to Yahoo or Bing or Amazon or even Wikipedia. And in this course, you'll be basically using more of Google and Wikipedia. So just leave it by default. Google uh, is embedded with more than a Firefox. So let's just use Google. All right. Uh, so in the next video, we'll cover uh, how to use the search engines, all right, uh, within your web browser, and uh, how to explore the meta, uh, sorry, the keyword search engine and the normal uh, phrase search engines.